Welcome back to the Mallorca Safe Lads. Today could decide the future of our season in a number of ways. We start with Las Palmas who are bottom away. That's obviously going to be simulated. We have three games today in La Liga, all against sides that are around us in the division. Villarreal third, Valencia seventh, Sevilla eighth. Now, if we can win those games, not only do we gain three points, but we take a big chunk away from other sides around us that are trying to either catch us up or pull away from us, depending on where they are at any given moment. So it's a really good opportunity to bump ourselves up to at least third, if not maybe push Granada, Granada in second place. Barcelona still have won all but one game so far this season, but oh, we are hoping and praying that their demise isn't too far away. A very late kickoff here as they normally are in Spain in the evening, and it's a solid victory. Uh, Brace for Cucho and one for Insua as well to give us a solid 3-0 lead. Barca win again against Atleti as well. Real Madrid also pick up three points, so that's huge there. And with the with the Championship Champions League sorry table looking as it does, I think we can sim Dortmund and concentrate on the three La Liga games. We need the points in La Liga. We don't necessarily need to ensure that we absolutely definitely finish top of the group. So I'm quite comfortable simming this one. Well, they're playing Orlan up top, and they didn't do that in the first game against Dortmund. That's slightly annoying. Although, we win anyway. Kucho and Insua. Jean Bojlai winning the equaliser for them, but then Kucho in the second half on the hour mark, giving us the advantage. So we'll finish top of the group there in the Champions League, which, in theory, should give us an easier draw in the first knockout round. Although, sometimes you get shocks in group, like when Bruce, you don't imagine you finish top of your group and then you draw Dortmund. You're like, for Christ's sake, I wish we'd finished second in the group. And Paul, uh, Paul Mallorca. But that win for us has drawn us up to fifth. And we're still trying to catch Sevilla, who won again. They're four points clear of us. Uh, not Sevilla, Villarreal, sorry. Sevilla and Real... No, Sevilla and Valencia, the two sides we face today as well. They're two and three points below us. And Barca keep going. So I will see you in-game against Valencia first, then Villarreal midweek, and Sevilla after that. We've had a great start with... Two good victories. Let's go and make that three, four, and five if we can. All right, Valencia as the first opponents line up in a 4-4-2. Cloje up top alongside De Ketelera. Again, Turam on the left and Julian Brandt in central midfield. Florenzi at right back, Gaia at left back, and Jose Maria Jimenez at centre back. Vlacadimos still uh, calling the shots in goal, but he's 86 rated. I'm intrigued to see what... Uh, Jose Maria Jimenez is 88, as is Jose Gaia now. Wow. Okay, Julian Brandt, 86. Marcus Turo, 86. Good side, this Valencia team. But you can see that we're a good side too. Musa Gineppo was on fire yesterday. If he can continue to burn brightly today, then we should get some really good results. Kucho and Insua were firing in the Sind games. Let's hope that they can fire in the played ones too. And if everybody is red hot, then we... Will be flying up the table. Kubo delivers an early cross. Oh, it's excellently delivered and nobody can get on the end of it. The defender flying in puts Kucho off, who would have had surely a simple tap in had he reached the ball. What a start that would have been into Jose, to De Ketelera. Trying to outmuscle him, wary of the secondary run. That's a good block by Onyeka, but he'll have to get himself back in position. Oh, Dominguez has won that back, and if Kucho will go. We could be in behind. Oh, that touch was just what I needed. So many times I try a touch like that and I mess it up either with direction or power. But perfection from Kuto on this occasion. And we lead after 11 minutes against Valencia. But we've been 1-0 up in games recently before and not seen it through. So we need to make sure that we build on this and don't have the opposition peg us back or even turn it completely around, which is happened most recently let's get three points let's close the gap on those above then go and play Villarreal next week and overtake them if we can Ishmael Casas down the line to Kubo Nicola Dominguez is here and arriving oh it's brilliantly worked please be onside oh he's not gonna get there oh but neither is Gineppo either oh so close to two so close to two Kufre with the outswinger Kuto could get under this he has done but he's gotten right under it and it's gone over the bar. Trying to burst down the line. And inside is Julian Brandt. Excellent tackle by Nicola Dominguez, though. 
Just there again, nice ball by Kubo. Needed to be executed perfectly and was. And the turn needs to be good here too, and it has been. And, oh, I was just trying to squeeze it to Gineppo. I couldn't pull it off. We're easily the best team here. Just dominating Valencia. They try and break out, but fail every time because we're just so good at pinning them in right now. Chasing shadows up top, and Gineppo's through here, and Moose has been in great goal scoring form, and that continues. Mallorca are in great scoring form, and that continues. As a side, we are very good right now. 2 0 here against Valencia, and hopefully, it's a sign of things to come for the rest of the day. Down to Insua and forward to Kucho. We've had a lot of the ball, but you've seen how we've had a lot of the ball. Oh, and the defender didn't know which way to go there, and Gineppo's in again, but it's a good save by Vlacodimos. Too good a goalkeeper to be beaten every single time. But we certainly are testing him a number of times in this game. Dominguez for to Insua. I'll lift it for Kubo. Oh, and he will get to it. And he's trying to get in behind. I'll drill it to the middle where Kuto is waiting. It's three. It's three. And that will be points as well as goals. Thank you very much. To Kubo. Dominguez. Insua trying to keep up the pressure from the first half and take it into this second. It'd be a ridiculous scoreline if we can do that. And he's in behind Kuto. Aritz does just enough. I thought I had the half yard I needed to get my shot away there. I'll draw Kassas central and then immediately regret it. As that's opened up space out wide here for Marcus Turan to get forward. Inside there is Jose. He's let that run. I'm worried about the ball through here. Julian Brandt will fire on Zier and Valencia have one back. Okay. Things have turned around after half time. When I was in possession going the other way, I thought, oh. Might be about to get a fourth there. And we very nearly did if it weren't for the block. But what a good block it was. What an important block it was at the other end from the defender for Valencia. Because from that block, they've counter-attacked and gotten themselves one back. Maybe the game isn't done yet. But if we get a fourth between now and, say, the 70th minute, then it's probably still game over. <laughs> Sorry, Valencia. Back to Bay. Out to Kufre. And forward to Gineppo. That's a nice spin. It's gotten him away from Florenzi. He's not... A Slouch by any stretch. Please get on that. Oh, Federico. So many times. We find him in the middle with a cross and he misses with his header. I don't know what to do to train his heading other than put a defensive, like a, a centre-back position change on him so that it trains his, uh, his physicals. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that is genuinely us, because obviously it's going to take however many hundred weeks to train him as a centre-back from a cam. That might be the way forward, who knows. But certainly his heading needs some improving. But with it being the last season now, perhaps it's too little too late and we just have to kind of make do with him as we have him right now. He's obviously 90 rated and still very, very good. And it's not like we are desperate for that goal, but you know, you just know at some point we are going to be desperate for that goal and he's going to have a brilliant opportunity with his head and he's going to miss it and it's going to cost us everything. Oh, You'll have to let me know in the comment section if you think I should, I should alter his development plan. I may well do that between now and the end of the season. So we're not quite at January yet, so there's still half a year to be able to improve it and come the business end of the season, might have improved enough that it'll make the difference. 15 to go here, still 3-1. Still in with a shout here, Valencia, although as every passing minute goes by, that shout continues to disappear into the void. Whipped in, Manny Vieja, that's nicely done, but Ndika's too good of an aerial presence to just lift it over him like that and not have him get on the end of it. Go through there to Kuto, and I was hoping Insu would get beyond Brandt there, and he didn't. There's still five minutes to go here. If they score now, we really could be in for an extremely nervy final few moments. Adamola Lookman off the bench for them. Here's Meyer. It's a Manu Viejo. He's got runners like Julian Brandt around him. Oh, I've caught Brandt there and he is going to give the foul. Barely even knocked him. But it was enough of a foul for the referee. I just tried to get that. I didn't quite time it right as the ball left his foot as I was pressing tackle. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's probably a foul, but still, that's frustrating. Oh! And he couldn't have put that more in the corner, Marcus Turam. 3-2 against Valencia. Well, I guess who's just going to ultimate team foot champs pass it around the back for the last few minutes? You'd be lucky if you see this ball again, Valencia, because you're certainly not going to see any points, I'm afraid, lads. Sorry, boys. That is game over. I'm not risking throwing this away. Thank you very much. It's going to be a 3-2 win against Valencia.
which will come in very handy in it. Ref, you can blue whistle if you like, mate. I'll, just, here, I'll, I'll kick it off the pitch. There you go. Oh, I, did, I thought he'd just given the throw for a moment. A win against Valencia. Although 3 0 to 3 2. Not quite as convincing as we thought it was going to be at half time. Let's repeat the first half performance against Villarreal. And to be fair, they only had two chances, Valencia, all game. One of which was from the penalty spot. They just so happened to take both, so the scoreline was tighter than it perhaps should have done. A 3 2 defeat, even though we were the ones that won, actually flatters them with regards to the way that the scoreline was. Villarreal drew their match day 16. That's a big result for us as well. We are now two points. Sorry, a single point off third and three points off second. Two places we can move up with that single point. Oh, Barca won again. For Christ's sake, Barcelona. What is wrong with you? You've not got Pep back, have you? This is outrageous. Kubo's very happy, which is good. Uh, progress assessment. Guess what, boys? Mm, not going to do it, mate. 62 is my current board rating. They're not happy with me. But we just got one quick training regime and then it's Villarreal midweek. All right, in what is known as the refresher derby because of the colour of the kits. Uh, they have uh, Rafael Bora up top, Moy Gomez on the left, Chiqueze on the right. Uh, is it Lissandro Martinez at centre? I think it's Lissandro, isn't it? Palacios in the midfield alongside Thomas Delaney. It is Lissandro Martinez. I thought it was the guy from Ajax, the Argentinian guy. Right, so like I say, refresher derby with the... Uh, the all pink versus the all yellow. And their goalkeeper's wearing all pink as well, as if to make matters worse. Well, hopefully, we'll be too sweet for... Uh, no, I'm not. I was going to make some sort of sugary sweet pun. I'm just going to stay away from it. I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. It's, oh, that was too bad. Too bad. Mia with a big switch. Thomas Delaney wins the header. And Chacuese helps it around the corner. To Rafael Borro draws a good save out of Unai Simon. An early warning shot. From Villarreal. Delivery whipped. Catch. Don't punch. He's punched. Get to that first. Oh, Insu has been nutmegged. And Mia could shoot from here. Has done. No. Oh. It hit on Yaker in the head. And I wasn't sure whether that was going to end up in the back of the net. Another corner for Villarreal. This time from the far side. And we should win that. We have. But it's only going to go out for another corner. I'm trying to flick it away. And that's not worked at all. Where's Chiquese going to put this one? They're doing to me what I did to Valencia at the beginning of the last time, last game. This time. Delaney and Miguel. Oh, and Yaker's in. And he's gotten to the second ball too. Insua, make me run, pal. Thank you, mate. Not really much of a run, was it? Kubo's making me a run, though. 90 rated player to 90 rated player. Back to 90 rated player. In looking for 86 rated player. Finding 90 rated player. Aye, that was meant for Dominguez. Chiquese looking to break away, but Kufre says, no, you're not getting away from me, son. Uh, oh, where do I try and pass this? I'll tell you what, Sheriff Bay is a good option. First time here. Oof. Struck well, saved well by Khodetsky, former Leverkusen goalkeeper, pulling out all the stops here to ensure that we don't score. Gineppo. Oh, I thought it was going to take the flexion off their defender as it did the other end as well. But no, straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Oh, and if Sheriff could have reacted quickly enough to that, we could have been in again. But after half an hour ish, it's going to stay nil nil. Definitely. You'll have to let me know in the comments section for you guys. Have you seen a side do what Barcelona are doing in your saves for a whole season? I've seen some of you show me like the occasional Bayern or PSG AI controlled season where they've gone entirely unbeaten and won almost all of those games as well. Hoping that really doesn't happen here in La Liga for Barcelona this year because I'd be desperate to try and win the league this year. And if Musa Gineppo can keep scoring, then we stand a good chance. But we do need Barcelona to stop scoring, which doesn't look like happening anytime soon at the moment. Mia across to Turin Riga. That's a very heavy touch, but Bay can't get there. Kufre will get to that, but the clearance hasn't gone well. Bora will go again. Plasios will look for him again. I'm worried about a turn and then a shot or a pass. So where's he going to go? And Dicker reads it well. That was dangerous. Virial on the brink of getting themselves an equaliser there. Can we go at the other end and extend our lead? I'll try to. It's a decent delivery. And a decent delivery there. Oh, Kucho missed it. Oh, and it's bounced off, Kubo. Rather than being able to be turned at least on target to try and maybe win us a corner or even squeeze at home. They've taken Moy Gomez off and brought on Adama Traore on the right-hand side and then immediately try and get it out towards 
that side of the field. We know what your game plan is then for the rest of the game, don't we, Villarreal? Dominguez, good footwork. Gineppo's round the outside. Excellent run. We'll try again with Gineppo looking into the middle. Cucho's there! The defender's missed it. It is to be two. Cucho's really coming up big now. Scoring a lot of goals for us this season. Still leads the way at the top of the golden boot race. Defender tucked in, so Gineppo had space. But I'll be honest, I did expect the defender to get to that. He just... He, Ran a little bit more central as Kuto stayed on the back post. And then Martinez just couldn't get back to it. He's not the tallest either, to be fair, Alessandro Martinez. It's not like a big six foot four centre back. So that's worked in our favour there as well. A bit of defensive wayward positioning has gifted us a second goal. Kuto on hand to turn it home. Oh, Barca scored again. Oh, nicely done. Tidy finish too. There you go. Barca running away with their game. We're running away with ours. Mallorca 3, Villarreal 0. This will be us up further in the table. We're severe yet to come. Just to poke it away. And we should just be able to run the clock down from here like we did against Valencia. Not that we actually need to on this occasion. Because we've still got a solid 3 goals to nil victory. Or scoreline. Which will soon enough be a victory. Not that I've necessarily passed this about with much finesse. But we get the victory. And that's an important win for us because it means that we definitely do move up at least one spot in the table because Villarreal were a point above us. Then drawing on the match day the weekend just before where we beat Valencia was huge for us. Sevilla just won 3-0 away from home. Valencia, sorry, um, Barcelona won as well. Real Madrid have also been victorious. So we are up to third and still just a point off second spot. But Barca won't stop winning. Barca, they've got Las Palmas next, so... Bet your bottom dollar they're going to win that as well. We scored just as many goals as Barca, but we've conceded a few more. And to be honest, they just won every single bloody game. <sighs> right, it was Sevilla next, who are right behind us actually in fourth. They're in some good form, so we're going to have to be we're going to have to be at our best here if we're to get victory in this one. Sevilla was slightly out of form. I didn't get the chance to say anything to Asensio. Sevilla have been slightly out of form. Not Sevilla. Villarreal was slightly out of form. I don't know what Valencia's form was like prior to playing us, but they certainly weren't having as good a season as us because they were behind us still. And like that response said, when we're at our best, we can beat anybody. It's just that in games against Real Madrid and Barcelona this season, I haven't been at my best. Sevilla up next. We're going to have to rotate a little bit for fitness. We should be okay. They're slightly tired as well. They're slightly tired as well. Okay. You can see their starting lineup on the right hand side. Then Pacheco still in goal for them. Trippier at right back. Oh, I'm having all the Pacheco flashbacks now. Canoere up top. A Campos and Adrissi wide. Jordan, Oscar, and Pereira in the middle. <sighs> Big game. We don't tend to do that well against Sevilla, mainly because of Pacheco. But let's hope that this is so something different. Not able to get away from Casas, who showed a great turn of speed. It's a really nice kit, this Sevilla third kit or away kit. I don't know whether it's their third or away kit, but it's really nice. The blue one with the red socks. Oh, what else is really nice? It's the way that Musa Gineppo just keeps scoring. Just keeps going. I don't know what is in his Weetabix in the morning, but he will not stop. And that's a really tidy finish on his left foot too. A very tidy finish. Pinpoint perfection. Oh, Musa Gineppo is dreamy. For a player that's not that high rated still at just 83, he's so effective. I love that man. Cadawere. Out wide to Oscar. And here's Trippier. Trying to get away from me as well. And in the corner there, Kieran Trippier. One of the best attacking fullbacks in European football in recent years, Kieran Trippier. That's a strike. Straight down the throat, though, of Unai Simon, thankfully. Trying to fire back here, Sevilla. Well, ensure that they don't. Trying to stand me up and then get it in behind, but he wasn't able to do that. Kamara and Jordan linking up again. Across, actually, that's a decent delivery. Bay gets there. Needed to, but I had to be careful where we were aiming that. Otherwise, <laughs> we'd have been in trouble. Oh, Danilo's gotten something on that. Bay was about to break in and pff, it very nearly led to a severe goal. Have to be careful. Just because we're 1-0 up and in front here doesn't mean they can't just catch us with one opportunity. Fell foul of that against Valencia. And they very nearly turned up all the way around. Thankfully, 
against Villarreal, we weren't properly threatened that much. At least the goalkeeper didn't have to make a number of big saves. Sevilla have had more of the ball in this game. Oh, they'll have even more still if I keep giving it to them like that. We hold our 1-0 lead towards half-time. But no chance really to build on that in the past few minutes. It's all been kind of Sevilla pressing, trying to find a way past our defence. Oscar's got the option out wide here in Trippier. Chests it down well. Turns inside nicely. And a Campos. Oh, and Dick has done just enough. Just enough. We could do that for the whole game. or well, the whole of the remainder of the game. Then we'll see this through. Kubo's free here. If we can make this two before half time, it'd be an absolutely massive goal. Oh, but Kamara's got the pace to get back. I thought Kubo was clean away there. In Sua delivering the corner. And oh, Nunez heading away. Half time very nearly with us. Half time is with us. Declan Rice showing some good footwork. Back to Danilo Pereira and Declan Rice again. Trying to entice Declan to shoot there, to be honest. Not necessarily renowned for his long-distance shots, even though he occasionally has one in the locker. Here's Trips. Back to Oscar into the middle. Canoere! The chance finally comes, but comfortably enough held by Unai Simon. We still have our clean sheet. We still are on course for a perfect episode. Albeit with some goals conceded, so maybe not entirely perfect. But you know what I mean? Perfect results-wise, overall result-wise. As they say, still just one goal between the sides, so it could still go either way. Asensio trying to work things about. Right pass, right time for me. Could be the way forward here. And Kubo can't find it. Three to go, still 1-0. But as long as the ball is up here and not up there, we're going to get the win. Ball dinked in. There's time. There's time. Suso. Oh, Onyeka. Huge. Kamara back. Yes! It's not very often we get the ball past... Um, Pacheco, but on this occasion, just the one was enough. Solid game against Sevilla, very well fought by both sides that we just edge, and it took a very, very good finish from Musa Gineppo to give us that edge. Such a tight game, barely any chances for either side, as you can see. Barcelona about to take on Las Palmas, and you would expect them to win that. If that's the one game they lose, then I'd be particularly frustrated. We now don't have a game until the 9th of January where we have a game in the Copa del Rey. But if we win that, of course, the Copa del Rey is the sort of competition, in FIFA at least, that happens very, very, very quickly. So there'll be plenty of games in January should we win that one. Uh, with regards to January transfer window, I don't really, don't really know what, what to do, if there's anything to do with my £11 million. The squad is looking good, playing well. We're top, or we topped our Champions League group. That's official now i need to check the champions league see we've got in the knockout rounds we're third in the league barcelona did beat las palmas no surprises though we're still a point behind real madrid so we're a solid third at the minute still 15 points off top but if barca can do that run in the first half of the season then there's no real reason other than it's me controlling them why we can't go on a similar run in the second half of the season have we been drawn in the champions league now we the draw has been made and we've manchester united in the round of 16 of the champions league well, we went out very early on in the Europa League last year to Porto. And I think it's safe to say that Manchester United is a tougher test. Don't you think the same? I do, anyway. That'll be all for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and you're looking forward to the rest and the remainder of this final season. I hope to see you this evening on stream for the streamer showdown. It's the league, league phase, league stage today as we crack on. And hopefully get ourselves through to the knockout tournament tomorrow but link in the description for my twitch if you want to come and join me uh, if not i'll see you back here on the youtube channel tomorrow okay bye bye